Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be discussing the coldest places in the world, as explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. The coldest inhabited place on Earth is Omyakon in Russia, a town of fewer than 500 people that gets less than three hours of sun a day in the winter. The town has never ever recorded a temperature above freezing between the months of October and March, and in 1933 the temperature plunged right down to an ungodly minus 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the coldest temperature ever recorded on Earth outside Antarctica. So it's pretty cold, huh? Dead cold. It takes nearly three days to dig a grave there, since the ground is frozen so solid they have to defrost it with hot coals, half a foot at a time. So are there colder places than that on Earth? Well, as I mentioned, Antarctica can get a wee bit nippy. The coldest temp ever recorded on Earth was there, in fact, at Vostok Station. A staggering minus 128.6 Fahrenheit. For the average human, being exposed to that kind of cold would kill you in roughly three minutes. Ouch. So what lives there? Not much this far inland. Pretty much all notable life in Antarctica is based around the coasts. But underneath Vostok Station, far, far beneath, covered by a two and a half mile deep layer of ice, the place is jumping. When the ice was successfully drilled through for the first time in 2013, scientists announced that they had discovered over 3,500 entirely new species. Whoa! So what did they find? Sea monsters? Dinosaur fish? 60-foot sparkling gold narwhals with the ability to squirt tiger venom from their eyeballs? Well, it, it, it was new kinds of bacteria, mostly. <laughs> but what's really exciting about this is that experts believe the conditions there are very much like those to be found on Europa and Enceladus, the frozen moons of Jupiter and Saturn, respectively. The discovery of life in such an impossibly inhospitable place on Earth makes it that much more likely that we'll find some form of life on those distant moons. So how cold is it on Enceladus? Enceladus. It's named after a giant from ancient Greek mythology. The offspring of Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. <sighs> anyway, because this icy body reflects almost all the sunlight it receives, the average temperature there is around minus 330 degrees. While it's unlikely that there's anything alive down there under the ice beyond microscopic organisms, they're alien microscopic organisms, and that is amazingly exciting. So is that as cold as it gets? Nope. The vacuum of space, for example, is minus 454.81 degrees Fahrenheit. This is only just above absolute zero. And what lives in absolute zero? Literally, nothing. At that point, even atoms themselves stop moving. If and when the universe eventually cools to this point, existence itself will cease, and the universe will officially be dead. Forever. Well, this was uplifting. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to DollarShaveClub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.